Hello, I am a dragon, and I am going to review... Trouble Witches Neo. When you think witches, what do you think? Do you think this? Mayhaps this? Or do you think it like this? Apparently this is all Japan seems to think about. But really, when you think witches, what kind of game do you expect? Shitty Halloween ones? Probably. But instead you get witches shooting the shit out of everything! Notice how not scary they are. Wink wink Japan, you're so clever. What does shooting mechanics have to do with witches? Apparently everything. At least in Trouble Witches in the new Neo version for the Xbox 360. Questions come up. It's only natural. How? It's rather Why? I, I said that to drop me. Don't expect any mercy just because they're kids. Well, I would respond as surely as the developer would have. Why ask such questions when you can have cute anime witches? Did I mention there's a cat girl? Because there is. Two if you want to buy the super awesome dark goth cat girl. The game is brought to you by SNK, a brand that is as anime as one can get these days. From shooters to fighters to even... What the... Love sims? Oh god! It's no surprise they were to publish this game. Uh, yes, published. Turns out the game is based on an earlier game from an independent developer, Studio Siesta, from 2007. What's the difference, you ask? Why, the Neo, of course! In Triple Witch's Neo, you get a two-for-one deal. This can be seen by the beginning title screen that shows the original mode, and the new upgraded Neo version. What is the Neo version? Well, it's Trouble Witches, only it's HD-ified. It has a better drawn anime style, but the most important improvement of all? Voice acting for all your favorite witches. What's this? Rush over to Einheimer and take down the Malden Daughters? Sounds good, right? Especially if you've never heard of this insanity before. As far as you know, you're getting a pretty interesting shooting game about witches. What's there to lose? You got your classic and your Neo version. Two games for one. How can this go wrong? Magic? You sure about that? Hey, look here. I see little girls. Welcome to our playground. Twinkle is my sister. And Star is my sister. Fucking voice acting could go wrong! What's wrong with you? And what's up with that blue dress? That thing is hideous. You look like a mackerel. <laughs> what did you say? Wait, wait. Let me be absolutely clear here. The voices are not just wrong. They're ethically and morally intolerable. These voice actors raped your parents made you watch, and then took your wallet, and then peed on it. I can't believe our stage presence couldn't outperform the Swamp Monster. How dare you call me a Swamp Monster. I'm a sea maiden, er, sea witch. We've got the shards of Drapnir, yet you take us down one by one? What's the source of your power? Love. I wish I was overstating the shit fest that is the voices in this game. You needn't say a word. I love shiny things. Okay, you're next. Ah! How can a person exist with this level of communication? 
How can one function? Porn movies have better talent than this. Unless that's who they got to voice act this. Makes a lot more sense now seeing they're getting free lap dances out of it. I feel even more betrayed now though. People got paid to produce the voices for this. It's so bad that the rest of the game is unsalvageable. Uh, just, just hurry, or Alex. Oh no, he knows you're here. What's going on? Though I am being a bit unfair. The actual game is entertaining for what it is. It's a bland shooter that just has you massacring everything in your path. How the hell can you ruin something that just has you destroying everything? My showbiz career is slipping away. I get no photo shoots or tour dates. I like comedy, but I really shine in the spotlight. You're trying at a story to it for no goddamn reason! So, so let me get this straight. Some evil witch and her many evil children has taken a ring of Mordor, oh, uh, 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 well, whatever they're calling it. And the king just can't fucking deal with that. So instead of declaring war and going SEAL Team 6 on her ass, he litters the whole goddamn planet and hopes random witches will not make the situation worse? His prize to these witches? Anything they want. Well, in that case, why doesn't the evil witch just pretend she defeats herself? Then she asks for the kingdom, and boom, world taken over. Guess you should be more fucking detailed next time. Anyway, if you think that's stupid, now we get to the individual stories, each one making less sense than the other. I, for one, got to play the genius pop star Witch of the Sea. Her entire reason for being here? Wanting a fucking concert? Or some stupid shit? Funniest part is, she recruits her band by kicking the crap out of bosses and just, I don't know, making them do it, I guess. By the way, what do you want? You cause the city folk a lot of trouble. Your penalty is to play the drums in my marching band. Drums? Drums? I have no rhythm. It's beyond logical sensibility. I would think for a second this was one huge joke. But the dubbed voices destroy any faith I had that this was the case. It might have been funny, but it's not. It's bullshit. If you play the original mode, you get the same thing, only thank God everyone can't talk. So in this case, I guess I can't blame the original creators. Did I mention... You can molest a pumpkin girl's head till she explodes and turns into a big busty black woman. Well, black for Japanese standards, I imagine. Well, let's talk about gameplay, the only recognizable good thing about this game. Well, um... Well, you just shoot everything. Yes, there is other mechanics, but in the end, all you're really doing is shooting everything you can. Faster, damn it! FASTER! YOU'RE LOSING! There are other things, of course, to help you survive the horrible amounts of laser bullets trying to molest you. God damn it! Not that kind of- Go, go away! Now you can buy special cards from the pumpkin girl before you- God damn it! Damn it, Japan! What's wrong with you? Anyway, you can get certain cards that give you powers that can pretty much blow up anything. But if you use these cards, instead of money, you're gonna get some kind of star coin. This is not money. You see, this is a shooting game. Everything in shooting games has to do with score. So these coins can add to your score at the end. But then again, so can money. So you want both very high when you reach the end. Of course, if you die, you'll be penalized. So much fun! Did I mention you can save your replays and show others how- Oh, that's right! No one fucking cares! Listen, guys! Why don't you just leave this behind and invest your time into some quality gaming? 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, you like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I want right here. Oh, oh, you can't help yourself, can you? Oh, you dirty little minx. Dirty. So dirty. Wait a minute. Oh shit, was the mic left on? Oh, oh, crap. 